our team really approached the whole trip in such a, I mean, you, that's a textbook way to approach a business trip. And, and I think it stems from the senior leadership and the assistant coaches really just pointing their guys in the right direction and, and staying on top of them. So they deserve a lot of credit. The game plan coming in against CSU was, you know, we wanted to try to take away the run game. Um, they were real successful against us last year and successful as an offense last year, being able to pound the ball at you. And, and we, uh, we made it a mindset coming in that, that we weren't going to allow that to happen. And, and those kids did a great job filling in uh, on short notice for, uh, for Jelani's absence. And, uh, you know, look forward to, to them continuing to grow in, in, the defensive, uh, in the defensive packages. It's a testament to their, to their play and, um, you know, my offensive line, you know, you couldn't ask for, you know, a better O-line. Um, you know, true freshmen stepping up, um, big guys coming in and just, you know, securing blocks and just opening up gaps. And, you know, it was, it was really nice to see. And, you know, we got receivers uh, making big time plays. You know, I'm just, I, I don't feel like I did much of the work. I, you know, I just distributed the ball and let the other guys, you know, run around and, and make plays. It was just an honor to be back out there, you know, after sitting out for about 10 months uh, due to this ACL surgery. Uh, to have that trust and um, on that fourth down, to, um, to know that my coaches believed in me to do that. Um, it was. It meant the world for me just to be able to catch my first pass, and it, for it to be a touchdown was just a bonus. So I was extremely grateful for that. Navy is so efficient on offense, uh, whether it's third down conversion opportunities, uh, keeping the ball, not making mistakes, and so it's, it's going to come down to you know beating blocks and tackling, like like all football. It's a difficult game. Just the the, the mindset of the offense. Uh, combine that with with the with the with the attitude and the personality of a. Of a a military academy. Um, you know they're going to be disciplined. You know there's not going to be a lack of effort. You know they're going to, you know, we have to take care of the football. If we can get a couple possessions, you know, and change it, you know, change the, the flow of the game, I think that's important. But, you know, this is one we can't get frustrated because they're going to get their yards. They're going to pound us. Guys are going to be sore. You just got to know that going in. And then we got to be able to make plays offensively. They're a little different. All the triple option teams, whether we, you know, we played Paul Johnson at, at Georgia Tech and and his option is a little different from Kenny's, it's a little different from Air Force, a little different from Army. And, and so they've been successful for the long haul at Navy because they have tweaked and fine-tuned things. You know, they, they've gotten into some shotgun, uh, uh, running the triple out of the shotgun. So they do things um, to kind of keep you on your toes defensively, and, and he's very creative with uh, how they prepare that offense. It has a lot to do with Kenny. You know, what a, what a great guy has represented not only Radford, UH, but the state of Hawaii his whole life in a positive manner. And, you know, that's, that's, that's the sprinkling of the Aloha spirit, and I think he's, he's made a positive impact on the game. You know, hoping for a big crowd, you know, love the support online, and, you know, it was awesome just, um, you know, taking that game because, you know, it was a lot of stuff happening back home. You know, Little League, uh, the guys in Little League won as well, and, you know, it just, you know, helped the morale of the whole island. And, um, you know, we're just hoping for a big crowd and, you know, a lot of support from our fans. Um, it's extremely exciting knowing that we came off a win. Hopefully the fans come out and show their support. And for me, it's just huge because I haven't been in that stadium and played since last October. And so it's going to be just a huge blessing for me to be in front of the fans again and playing alongside of my brothers.